Let's talk about the importance of being constructive. Who'd like to go first? <gasps> Me? Ugh, what a try hard. All right, Cat Hugger AM, start us off. Being constructive allows us to view our weaknesses from another perspective. It not only allows us to understand what we're saying and doing, but it also allows us to understand how exactly others perceive it to be. I completely agree with you. By giving each other feedback, one is able to critically evaluate how to improve themselves in the future. However, I partially disagree, as it's not just your weaknesses being critiqued, but your strengths as well. I believe that to be constructive, you must allow your peers to build up from their strengths, as that is foundational to self-improvement. Well, both of you are wrong. Self-improvement should stem from self-realization. If you tell someone they're wrong, you're basically spoon-feeding them the answer. Therefore, that is no longer critical thinking, that's like critical stupidity. Hey! Truth hurts, doesn't it? Don't be such an arsehole! <gasps> Burrito AM, I agree with you to some extent because it is important that when you're giving feedback, you should give them hints as to where they should improve themselves rather than telling them what to do to improve. However, I still believe that self-improvement flourishes with some external guidance. <sighs> all right then. I think we can all agree that as long as constructive criticism guides self-improvement rather than force it, then it is essential for self-improvement and evaluation of oneself. Woo! High five, Burrito AM! Don't touch me.